Hello, and welcome to the Nerds at Large spoiler cast for Marvel's Spider-Man. I am Darby Hallman. I am Jeff Mayer. I'm Jacob Hamill. I'm Will Outlaw. A four-man group. We finally did it, you guys. <laughs> I feel like the Avengers are united. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, time for two of you to die. <laughs> well, how are you guys doing this fine day? It's Will, it's been a very long time. It's been a long I think it's been since E3. Which yeah. Which weird. is a while ago. Which <laughs> Several is, months. Is, is even longer than it feels like. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Because it's, it's been flying by. Yep. But, but we all are here today because we've all played Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. probably one of the few times that we're all going <laughs> to... We're going to have a video game that That's we true. were all able to play and finish. Maybe God of War might be another one if, yeah, if, J if Jacob gets through it. I'm going through it. But, uh, yeah. yeah. This is about Spider-Man, not God of War. But this is about Spider-Man. But this is about Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you haven't watched one of our spoiler casts before, we're going to start out with a brief spoiler-free section where we kind of just give our general impressions about the game. And then we'll make it very clear when we dive into the like full spoilers for the game. So you will be warned for that. <laughs> so just right off the bat, let's just kind of go around and just say like, whether overall how you felt about the game and maybe just a little bit about what you like about it, what you didn't, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Um, I'll start. I thought Spider-Man was a really, 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 it was definitively the best Spider-Man game I've played. Not that that was an insanely high bar. I mean, but out of licensed properties, he probably has the best pedigree. Yeah, that, that is true. That is true. And there was like, I enjoyed some of those like <clears throat> PS2 Spider-Man games. Yeah. It's been a long time, but I enjoyed them. Um, but I did actually like a lot how this game felt like it, it was kind of carrying the torch from those old Spider-Man games. And it took like some of the vibes that you like from it and like modernized things. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, just the swinging mechanics and all that just felt amazing. And the biggest thing for me was the story that I knew it was going to be good, but it was like you really cared about a lot of these characters by the end. And the combat is definitely where like I didn't vibe with it completely, especially towards the end, not the whole time at least, but the story was like so good that I was just locked in from the start. No. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I have like a pretty similar opinion. I wasn't really excited for this game, like, all in all the trailers leading up to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't until I heard impressions about the gameplay and like the open world that it piqued my interest and I picked it up and I, I enjoyed it. And I think, you know, as a non like big Marvel comic book fan, enjoying this Spider-Man game, I think speaks a lot to the game's quality. Yeah. And that's interesting because like, you don't watch like, I think all of us have seen like all the MCU movies, pretty yeah. much all of them, but like you're, you don't, you're not in that world as much. That's why I was yeah. a little surprised. I was like, Oh, Jacob picked up Spider-Man. Yeah. I, I think like, the last MCU movie I saw in theaters was Civil War. Yeah. Yeah. Couple years ago, yeah, so that was a while ago. Um, I feel old now. Um, <laughs> but so, yeah, that didn't feel like that long ago, but it was it was very long ago. But yeah, I mean, I even like teared up towards the end. Like that happening yeah. for me in a superhero game. It's kind of like probably wouldn't expect that. Yeah, um, that's a feat. But uh, and I, I do agree with the gameplay though. That yeah, I I liked it, but it wasn't like mind blowing. I thought it was. Fun for what it was. It got old after a while, I felt. But. Yeah, we'll get into it. It was a lot of, like, a lot of the things that I was worried about going in ended up being true. It's just the good parts of it were, you know, it was a good enough experience to where it didn't matter. But I did, like, while the, the combat was fun at first, I felt like it got to a point where it was like I was doing a lot of the same, like, abilities over and over again. And the new ones that I was unlocking weren't speaking to me all that much. And it kind of, by the end of it, it just got to like, okay, this is just a bigger group of guys for me to mash square a bunch of times yeah. with. And not that it was ever like that distracting. I feel like it was, this game moves at a fast clip for mm -hmm. the most part. So it was never like that far in the way. But it's, you know, when I compare it to like the combat, when I think about like God of War and like games like that, where the combat is just constantly evolving and changing and like every section of the game, I'm using new things. And, like, I, I, you need to to, like, beat these different enemies. Spider-Man, I felt like it was a little more, like, junk food in combat. But, but still, a lot of fun and very, very polished. Yeah. And great open world, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's that's that that, really that New York City was great. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I mean, yeah. I guess Jeff and I are the comic book guys. Yeah. yeah out of this group, for sure. Yeah. Um, I really, really like Spider-Man. I understand... 
I understand parts of what you're saying. Um, I think I viewed the combat personally as like an opportunity to see how many moves I could do or how many gadgets I could use. So I was just trying to, I think it could easily be very boring. Mm. And I just tried to personally spice it up how I was playing. <laughs> I also played it on like medium. I don't know what y'all played on. I played normal. 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 Yeah. normal. Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but combat for the first hour or so was like punishing for me. I yeah. was really bad at it. <laughs> no, same, same. I, I was worried for a second. Um, I died at bad. Kingpin quite a few times. Like, you're like leading up to it mm-hmm. and in that fight, I'm like, what? what am I supposed to freaking do? <laughs> yeah, and I don't know what it was, um, but it just started clicking for me. And I, I started having a lot of fun with the combat um, after, after a couple hours with the game. The web slinging web swinging slinging is it both you swing the webs <laughs> i guess you swing from the webs you uh i mean that's immaculate it was it was really fun uh to swing around the city um i really like how the game um what's it called it's like it adapts to wherever you are in the world so if it knows that you're about to hit a building you immediately start sprinting up and whatever yeah. um, mm-hmm. i think that was one of the most fascinating parts of the game for me just traversing i mean i, I said that about infamous too um, mm-hmm. whenever I was playing through that and I think that holds true for Spider-Man as well the traversal the story was great um, way better than I was expecting actually mm-hmm. um, I was disappointed whenever they showed the Sinister Six in the E3 trailer yeah I, I, I texted Jeff pretty much immediately after like because so I'm just assuming people have seen like E3 trailers and stuff mm-hmm. like that I texted Jeff immediately and I was like I really wish they had yeah. not shown that mm-hmm. I was like this would have had so such a bigger hit mm-hmm. if I didn't know and I was playing with my sister like she was watching me, and she was completely. She was like, "Hold, oh, like, wow, yeah. that was crazy." I was like, "Yeah, I kind of knew." Yeah. <laughs> I knew all that. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I think that was a little disappointing because I mean that's not like early game. I mean that's no, that's kind of that's kind of far back there. But I I definitely enjoyed it nonetheless. I don't think it's PS4's greatest game. It's not. I mean, it's probably not in their top uh, five. But I really enjoyed it personally. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I. A lot of those conversations are just whatever. I mean, it was a this is an amazing version of Spider Man, amazing telling of Spider Man, and like just Yuri Lowenthal is like he is a oh great Spider Man. Yeah. <laughs> that was one of my first impressions of the game. Was like, who is this? Because this is Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like it's, it's very very quickly he just he is the guy, and like yeah. he just encapsulates him so much. Encapsulating, yeah, whatever. Man, it's yeah. gonna be weird if I ever go back watching Naruto and listen to him play the broody like. <laughs> Wait, is thing? He Wait. plays Sasuke. Oh my Naruto. god. Yeah. <laughs> what? That is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, man, has some range, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, they're like completely different. Kind of yeah, guys. absolutely 100% <laughs> different. That's pretty insane. Well, Jeff, where are you? Yeah. Kind of hold out because I've talked about this game definitely the most on the Yeah, you, you have. But, but we're Obviously, still I like this game a lot because. So like enough to um, platinum it. I mm. don't have as many problems as the combat as you guys. I had a lot of fun with it throughout. I enjoyed it. Um, I felt like I was able to mix things up enough. They mixed it up enough. Yeah. I definitely would like some improvements between you know the next game because we're getting a sequel. Duh. <laughs> With how much this thing sold. Yeah. It's gonna try to hit different beasts than you guys. I think one thing that the game calls to improve at it improved with the side quest is. Mm. Um, I think next Tombstone, I kind of like that kind of thing where it was just kind of its own little story. It's a side quest story thing. I want more of that. Yeah. And I mentioned this to Darby and probably I think when Jake was on before, but, you know, mention it again, you know, when you get the bad patch, you get like um, Daredevil's like lawyer card right. and you stuff, you see yeah. your stuff. They, I think they mentioned Luke Cage and Doctor Strange and stuff when you're seeing the building stuff. Mm-hmm. I want side quest stuff to be you just... Teaming up maybe with those people and just do that. Do sure. more of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's sounding like they're doing kind of maybe more of that kind of stuff with the DLC for what I've heard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. I definitely want to get into it at some point. Just kind of like maybe towards the end of this moving forward like with Spider-Man 2 and just like how they could maybe, I would hope, like slowly in- expand the world to like these other mm-hmm. characters and everything. Because I like that the door is open. Mm-hmm. You know, you saw yeah. Avengers Tower and you saw a lot of these other things and I'd be interested to see. Yeah, I like that they're not shying away from the connections. That'd yeah. be really easy to do. They're not shying yeah. away, but they're also letting this game breathe. Yeah. They're letting yeah. this game be a Spider-Man game. I, I, I'm just I'm just saying, but your stuff was going down and no one was helping out Spidey. Just saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's true. It was but, pretty uh, ridiculous at yeah. the end when New York was like well, under well, siege. It's like a war zone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
it gets bad quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess, like, the last day before... Or their stuff goes bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, come on. Um, <laughs> but I do, like, the side stuff, the other thing, like, I, I really, I'm going to sound like I'm being too negative in this game. I'm going to end up gushing about this game so much. But, like, at least it was, a lot of these things was, like, me personally, I got to where... I, I did the side stuff that I enjoyed, like the backpacks. I like, loved hearing all the stories but with everything mm-hmm. he did or whatever. But then when I got to like all of like Harry Osborne stuff with the like science thing, even a lot of the crimes, like a lot of those, I was just like, okay, I, I've seen them. Like, I, I, I got it. I, the, I got what you know yeah. this is. The crimes were pretty bad. That was the last thing I had to do to platinum it, and that was Same. that was pretty tough. There's yeah. so many of them, and there's like so few variations of yeah, like what it's, it's it actually just not is. Fun after a while. I get it. But, I mean, like, that's... It's fine. Like, I didn't do a lot of that stuff, and I completely enjoyed the game. It's there for people, and a lot of people have been platinum me and yeah. wanting to do that. It's just, me, a lot of that seemed, like, too filler for me. Like, I wanted it to have more storylines connected to it. Sure. Like, to ha- feel like it had more relevance. Well, Odori, I want you to know that in the DLC, they add a whole other type of crime. A Great. whole new crime. <laughs> Sweet. Ooh. Now there's four. <laughs> <Yeah>. Carja. <laughs> All right, well, um, does anyone have anything else more before we move into spoilers? It's a super good game. It's beautiful. Animations are, like, top-notch. The costumes in the game. A lot yeah. of fun. Are, There's some yeah. crazy ones. They're so detailed, too, yeah. if you zoom in on them. What, what was everyone's favorite costume? That's good. I don't know. There was, I like, me, I think Jeff is a very similar way. It's a very lame thing, but, like, in so many games, like, I'll look at all these crazy costumes, I'll be like, these are some really cool costumes, but Spider-Man would never wear it. Like, or this looks dumb in the cutscenes or whatever, so I end up just doing the normal thing, because I don't want to yeah. see Spider-Punk. Yeah. Oh, you're going to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I wish I could be, but, like, I'm the same way in Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. It's like, I could do a crazy mustache, but it's like, but... Whenever we have serious cutscenes, he's gonna look stupid. It's like uh, I didn't yeah. love the costume selection actually. There mm-hmm. was like three or four that I really liked, and then all the rest I never wore. But I used the green neon spider one. That, that's mm-hmm. one. That's that one was pretty sweet. <laughs> and uh, you said one with stealth. And- yeah, nice. and then I used the Stark suit pretty often. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. I- yeah. I do like the simple ones a little bit more. Like they, some of them are out there. <laughs> like yeah, some like that ghost crazy one. one. Yeah. Oh, that was so stupid. Why? Are you, why is that in the game? <laughs> I don't know. What did y'all use? Uh, I mean, I generally use the normal one for the story yeah. missions, and then I just I pretty much used all of them. Like at some point during the side stuff, like which one fits this kind of thing? I think there was one thing where you're doing like some investigating, so I used the Spider Man Noir whatever costume. Uh, I did use Spider Punk whenever you go to the Halloween party thing. Oh, that was, that was a good idea. That was a uh, for idea. that one, I used the one where it's just the um, thrown together thing with the jacket and the right. weird goggle thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that so one you, a lot So too, you look like you're just this guy in a <laughs> yeah. Spider-Man costume? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, no, I mostly just used the white spider. And I was playing with my sister and fiancé, and like they have two twin girls, so it was just like... Mean husband. Would, uh, or, uh, husband, yeah. Duh. <laughs> it, I'm very tired. Uh, we got there, and it would be like, okay, we have like two hours to play, let's play. Yeah. So I like, didn't end up looking at a, like well, going through a lot the of The white spider grew on me a lot during the game. I never had a problem with it. I, was, yeah, I yeah. thought it looked fine. <laughs> I was from the get-go. Yeah, I was, I, but I'm also not like a huge, huge, huge. Comic yeah, I just thought it was inter- like an in- interesting choice. But yeah, I liked it during different. gameplay. Yeah. Alrighty, so from this point onwards, we will be talking about spoilers for Spider-Man. So make sure you have played the game before you listen, or if you just don't care about being spoiled, then I guess that's fine too. So uh, well, I can't believe Kingpin was Uncle Ben the whole time. I know it's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I do. It's very interesting. I like how like this world and this story. It's like, it, it it's like faithful enough to Spider Man where it's like you walk in here and you know what's going on and like there's a lot of familiar things. But they also do change things in like little ways and mm-hmm. stuff. They have like their own twists on it. I mean, the most obvious that was just like is the very is the end with like you know whatever's gonna happen with Harry. <laughs> yeah, they, they killed Aunt May. <laughs> they killed Aunt May like in the first. <laughs> In the I, first game of... I did not see that coming. No, it, yeah, I mean, as soon as like she was sick or whatever, but everyone was sick, and they were talking about getting an antidote, I'm yeah, like, exactly. okay, well then yeah, she's, she's gonna, gonna be, be okay. she's gonna be okay. Yeah. Like we're just gonna see her like really messed up, but she's gonna be okay. Yeah. 
And I think that was a good <laughs> subversion. Cause, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd say. And also, even though you knew he wasn't going to do it, like, it was a powerful moment when he ran up there. He, like, he was about to, like, mm-hmm. waste the, yeah. or use up, use up the, like, antidote on her. It's like, damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, powerful stuff. I always particularly spoil people with, or potential spoilers, when I did my Platinum Trophy, because the last one I did was the, um, taking picture of Uncle Ben's grave, oh. or whatever. Or, oh, or visit Uncle Ben's grave. Aunt uh, May is there too. At the is, end. Yeah, right next to it. So I did the camera so it was <laughs> covering oh, yeah, up her yeah, grave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just in case for some reason someone saw it. Like, I'm not going to spoil this. <laughs> oh, let me go look at Jeff's platinum. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. It'd be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, like random. But like, how would you guys, how'd you guys feel about the... Peter missions or whatever and the Mary Jane stuff like that um, like like I, I know that if anything's contentious like that's one of the more contentious ones or whatever like. yeah they weren't great <laughs> the, the Mary Jane mission inside the train terminal where you're like helping Spider-Man yeah. out that was cool but yeah. whenever you were just like investigating and walking around and not us I liked Mary Jane's more than Miles was I did not like Miles at all yeah yeah I agree with that. his was just some like kind of Half version of her, yeah. yeah like I like Miles' movie. first okay. one with the explosion, or the the bomb. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was almost like dumb. narrative story. Thing. I was like, "What are you doing? <laughs> Don't run to the explosion. Your dad's <laughs> fucking blown to bits." He's a dumb fifteen-year-old kid. Now he's a dumb fifteen-year-old kid with spider powers. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, like, I I agree. Like the sections, I think, for the most part, were kind of. If he, I do like the train thing. I, in general, I like Mary Jane's character, and I like that they kind of like we're not gonna make her. We're gonna like kind of turn it on their head, and not make her a completely damsel in distress, yeah. like mm-hmm. worthless character. Like she, like like in the train sequence where like she actually was like, hey, there's a guy there, point there. Like she had like she was helping him out. There there was like a like give and take with both of them, and like. Even, even like, some of the times where it, like, wasn't the most believable or it was kind of weird to control, I just liked that they did that. I liked that they, like, took her character somewhere else. Because I'm used yeah. to, like, the Raimi movies where uh-huh. Mary Jane is, like, the worst character I liked, there could be. I liked her characteristics in the story. I did not like that she was a reporter and that mm. she was doing all this... Yeah, that she was a partner, the girl in the chair, or whatever people always talk about. <laughs> I do not. I did not like that at all. Um, I think it's just because I think that's a trope at this point because you have like, yeah. what's Felicity in Arrow? And yeah, you, and yeah. then you have uh, Karen Page is a reporter in Daredevil. Hey, and you have but, Lois but Lane to, who's to a reporter. To be fair, the um, Mary Jane and this is not nearly as annoying as Felicity. No, well, that's true. Yeah, that'd be pretty hard. <laughs> it, it is a pretty like direct to Lois Lane. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of like comparison there. But I did like her relationship. I mean, the scene where uh, Peter goes to change in the kitchen and comes out in a Spider-Man suit. Yeah, I mean that was a fantastic exchange, especially um, depending on the costume. <laughs> 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 yeah, I bet Jacob probably has some very interesting cutscenes. Just the costumes. underwear, New yep. Game Plus. Yeah. Oh, oh please, man. please, please! <laughs> oh no, you know people that do New Game Plus just in the underwear. <laughs> uh, that was one of the things that got me the most. It was like walking the city. It was like we we saw you swinging around in your underwear the other day. <laughs> so, they say that. Yeah. Oh, I it was like after that. that mission. Like we were, I was walking around the city somewhere it's like hey spider-man you were just like swinging around your underwear the other day it was crazy that's really funny <laughs> uh yeah i mean i agree but i do i do like her like yeah her character was a little like tropey or whatever but their relationship i felt yeah it. i felt their relationship Relationship's like good. that scene yeah. whenever he's like texting and deleting it and then like you know oh, trying so to figure relatable. out what the text is like yeah i love <laughs> that it's because like they nailed the combination of, like, there's the serious Spider-Man when he has to be, but he's also goofy. And, like, generally what I like about this game is, like, it takes the good elements of, like, comic book zaniness, but also kind of feels like a more grounded, almost mm-hmm. film-ish story, like, kind mm-hmm. of in one, and it just mm-hmm. works. Like, I don't think this story, with all these, like, crazy villains with Scorpion and Electro and all of those, like, I don't think it would... If this was a movie, we'd be like, this is bad. Yeah. Because it just would not work as, <laughs> as a film. But, like, in a game where you can play it, like, over the course of a lot of time, like, I just feel like it works, you know? Yeah. Like, all those characters were believable or just, like, charming yeah. or funny. Yeah, that being a game definitely helps with the whole Doc Ock transformation. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fifteen hour transformation or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we can talk about that. I I loved that. Like I even though you knew where it was going, I liked that they slowly build that. Like mm-hmm. I feel like it made the like the payoff there at the end to me <clears throat> like more impactful just because it was right off the bat. It's like oh. You know, this is what they're doing. We're like Doc Ock's yeah. student or whatever, and Doc Ock seems like such a good guy, and you just see that like very slow. Yeah, I think I heard Snowball. people complaining, like complaining that it was so obvious that it was going to happen. And I was like, isn't that the point? Like, you're supposed to feel that irony of like helping him become Doctor Octopus. I, I thought that yeah. was really strange to hear complaints from that, or like that as a criticism, because I thought that was a really smart part of the part of the game. I well, like, and it, the flip side of that be if he didn't turn bad, then they say, oh, they just made him not the bad guy to be different. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be a lose-lose situation for them, probably. Yeah. yeah, I enjoyed, like, every scene where you check in on him, and he's, like, more and more, like, getting closer to Doc Ock. Being like, crazy and obsessed just a little more each and, time. Yeah, and I like do it. Oh, but I like it, like, teetered. Like, he would start to go off the edge, and then he would come back down. Yeah. And he would start yeah. to go, and then he would come back down. It was like... You know, I never. I saw some people like started to wonder, is he going to go bad? I always knew he was going to go bad. Like you said, I think this game kind of plays off of the things that you know are going to exactly, happen. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In in smart ways. That, that's why we're starting mm-hmm. Spider Man eight years into it because they're like, you know, yeah. you know yeah. this story. <laughs> Let's just go. Yeah. Which was a great decision. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Wonderful yeah. decision. Again, Jari said the backpacks are great because it fills in what makes you know little stuff. What makes this Spider Man a little different or the same from the other ones we know. Yeah, they mm-hmm. your grab. It, was, it made like like I loved hearing him like talk about things in the past, or like, just hear him and MJ like like talk about like dates they went on and stuff like that. Like yeah. the, how they slowly like fill in the world going in there, and those backpacks all like kind mm-hmm. of add into the picture. And I like that's like how it would have been harder to tell those like little stories if you had set it back there and you were having to watch it. You know, it, yeah, I, I feel like it's better to like look back on them like that and. That's what, yeah. That's why I got all the backpacks like really quickly because it was like this is really cool story bits. <laughs> yeah, it, it reminded. I know people are going to talk about the Arkham series a lot with this game, but it mm. reminded me a lot of Arkham Asylum in the way that that game dropped Batman into the middle of his career and mm. then just let you fill in the gaps as well with the mm. Riddler trophies and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it makes it almost makes the world feel more complete because there's everything you already. There's everything you need to know already in the game mm-hmm. instead of like, yeah, having to start it from scratch or uh, just leaving all that out. Let's I don't know. I kind of want to see Uncle Ben die again. Yeah. Flashback. Yeah, yeah, we didn't even see the wrestling arc. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, Flashback for the next game. That'll be DLC. The yeah. wrestling arc is what it's going to be called. <laughs> But yeah, no, I really enjoyed all the, like the background details and talking about the posters and the, in the lab. I mm. uh, just really just gave you a sense of where Peter is as Spider Man in his career. Like, he wasn't yeah. just like a drop you here and like nothing else before that matters. It really made you get a, a feel for the character. Yeah, and like you walk around the city and people are like, "Oh my God, you're my idol, or you're this or whatever," or someone's like, ah, "I hate you." J. J. Jonas says yeah. you're bad, bad too. Yeah. Like, like I like that. Like the world knows who you are, and it's this very fleshed out world speaking of which i thought J. Joe jameson having a podcast is like the best the Amazing. best <laughs> version because they're making like a modern spider-man like that's the yeah. best way to take J. jonah into the modern age just i'm glad he wasn't a newspaper i'm glad it was like he's running this alex podcast he's basically <laughs> alex jones <laughs> it was so good yeah also, that voice actor i don't know who it was sounded just like jk simmons mm-hmm. oh yeah it was great no it was like uh, yeah, that's a great way to have um, him in the game, and you know he's always a presence there, but not forcing him to the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, I mean, like, and it was re- pretty responsive. Like, I think we've all seen it at this point. But there's sometimes like if you stop, if you like go past a crime scene or something, like every now and then yeah. someone will call in and be like, "Yeah, Spider Man just like swung right by while like someone was robbing me," and JJ was like, "See, I told you." <laughs> Yeah. I'm a responsible Spider-Man that never happened to me. No, that happened to me immediately. Oh, I God, yeah. the there are so many crimes. I don't know how you stopped for every single one of them. I, I just, just did it, man. Crazy. I'm just your friendly, never hurt Spider-Man. That sounds like hell. <laughs> sorry, what were you saying? No, like, I it was like two hours in and I failed the car chase because I didn't know what was happening. Uh, and yeah. I just got put on blast by JJ. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's my first day. Come on. And it's been eight years, but it's my first day. It's still my first day. <laughs> my first day of me being an eight-year-old Spider-Man. <laughs> well, some of those are, br- like, there was a guy, there was one of those where um, someone was, like, 
shoved into a trunk of a car. It was like a kidnapping <laughs> yeah. thing, and you had to like listen out and find them. When I finally like got him out, he was like, "Thanks, Spider Man. I would have been at the bottom of the Hudson River if it wasn't for you." And I'm like, "Jesus Christ!" <laughs> <laughs> That's what was gonna happen. It's like, so every single other person that I passed is like drowning. And <laughs> yes, you killed them, you monster. Jeez, because you're lazy. Your apathy killed them. We yes. make jokes so many times where it's like I was swinging to MJ's house like early in the game before like everything started going down. And, like I passed my crimes. I'm like, "Sorry, dude. Go." <laughs> Going to get laid. Got to get laid. <laughs> Don't can't, can't save you from the <laughs> thugs right now. It ain't happening. <laughs> um, I was trying to think. We are definitely jumping around a lot, but there's definitely a lot we haven't talked about. Mm-hmm. I guess How about just... having miles in the game in general. Yeah, it was an interesting choice, and I think a lot of it is setting up for next mm-hmm. for the next game. Spider Man. <laughs> Their Spider Man. PS5 yeah. exclusive. Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man. Oh <laughs> I did think it was a little weird. It was like, okay, so the spider just like hangs on for a ride with MJ like all the way back to <laughs> yeah, the that's feast. a long time. <laughs> and yeah. then like gets out. Like after a while, it was just like when it didn't bite her, it was just there. I was like, it's going to bite her? <laughs> yeah, like, that's what I was Is she going to start? Uh, is, is that going to be the twist? Is I completely... Like, she spider powers? <laughs> I completely forgot about Miles in the story for a while. And then I was like, it's going to bite Mary Jane. She's going to become Spider-Woman. <laughs> like, that was for sure. That was well, I was happen. like telling my... I had already told my sister. It was like, okay, well, in other Spider-Man things, yeah. Miles Morales gets spider powers or whatever. And so, like, when the spider like, happened, I was like, okay, so it's going to get him. But it just had gone on for so long where I was like... <laughs> Jenny, I don't know. Maybe, maybe <laughs> Mary Jane gets spider powers now. Maybe that's how it goes. Man. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? He'll bite Spider um, Peter again, then he'll just be super spider. Six arms. <laughs> no, it actually takes away the spider powers. <laughs> and then you just Peter for the rest of yeah. the game. It's like, oh great, cool. like, oh well. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, I thought Miles was a fine character. Like you said, playing as him was you know, whatever. But I mean, I think he was like kind of a, just a normal kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I think they did, they, at least early on, like, it kind of, like, faded away. But, like, I thought him, his dad dying in the way he did was pretty brutal. Mm-hmm. And, like, I, I felt that for him, you know. Yeah, I think they did a great job of introducing his family and the character mm-hmm. to yeah. the world. Um, but, yeah, he did seem to keep around for a while. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> why are you helping Spider-Man? You don't know him. Because <laughs> yeah. he's a dumb 15-year-old kid. He was working at Feast. <laughs> he's traumatized, Will. <laughs> I, I did really enjoy that scene in the alleyway where he's pretty much yeah. teaching him how mm-hmm. to like fight. Mm-hmm. That was really heartwarming. Just, <laughs> just punch him in the face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm interested to see how, how that Miles has um, spider power, so that's going to affect the next game. Story-wise and potentially gameplay-wise. Like, mm-hmm. Will you play as both or something after Peter where you're at Miles mm-hmm. for like half the game or something. That's what I would imagine. Yeah. Just they, off the they pull a Metal Gear Solid and Peter dies immediately and you play as Miles <laughs> the rest of the game. No, you play as Rhino. Yeah, you play he as Rhino. Back. You play <laughs> as Rhino <laughs> for the rest of the game. And he gets Miles and he pulls off the mask and he's Rhino. <laughs> How did this happen? Can't you wait. There's actually Dio. Can't you wait. <laughs> and then Pants, this has been Death Stranding the whole time. <laughs> With weird dudes. I out. mean, they kind of introduced the symbiote at the end, so maybe Spider-Man gets infected and all that kind of stuff. No. Yeah. Which I can see that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there are a lot of ways they can go with that. Like, I, mean, I like it. it. It adds an in, a unique element to them as, a, you know, just... There's a whole other person with spider powers. There's a bunch of different ways they could go with it. I mean, yeah, there's been a lot of stuff in the story, but yeah, between Miles having powers, the whole thing with Harry um, and Norman potentially, you know, could become the Green Goblin or whatever happens with that. Mm, yeah. Except a lot of stuff. I wonder how they keep going with uh, making excuses about the Avengers not being there and stuff, though. Because it works for one game, but... Mm-hmm. <laughs> that definitely got to a point where I was like, <laughs> I was, we were swinging around it was just complete hellscape everyone was like yeah. shooting everyone everything's going to shit and Jenny's like we literally just passed Avengers Tower so what up <laughs> vacation <laughs> but they're like must be some like big stuff going down somewhere Thanos. like aliens yeah, yeah they're fighting yeah. Thanos it's like Spider-Man you got this <laughs> I am very interested to see like I don't feel like they would have put that in there if they don't plan to do anything with it. Mm-hmm. But I also don't expect for it to just completely blow up and be like, in the next game, there's Iron Man and Thor and Hulk and stuff. Like, I don't expect all of that, but, like, I feel like they're going to 
like you said, slowly expanded, even if that all that is is like Daredevil and Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, like yeah. the, the actual New York based like street smaller level. street level yeah. like heroes. Yeah. But and, I, yeah, yeah, I would like that better than just having all the main Avengers guys in there. Yeah. I don't want them to move too fast with this mm-hmm. anyway. And I want it to still be a sp- Spider Man. I mean, again, story. with the street base, I'd be happy they just like, they each have their little side class lines. You mm-hmm. do that kind of stuff and they tell their own stories. Mm. And it could flesh That's out true. some of that side stuff more yeah. if it's tied to you know, exactly what I want. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. That would be. So, I mean, in this one, I agree with you. And like the first one, it's, it, it's good to just introduce it now. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, if you keep having more and more <laughs> apocalyptic stuff happening and no one's joining in. That's going to be a problem, for sure. Uh, what do y'all think about Mr. Negative? Because I would definitely, like, from the trailers and stuff, like, he was a very big part of the trailers, but I, I still, like, even going up to playing the game, I assumed that was kind of a misdirection. He's going to be the bad guy for the first act, but it's yeah, gonna, same. he's going to kind of, like, fade off as the, the bigger things happen or whatever. That didn't end up being the case, and I was happy with it, because I think him being such a presence throughout the whole story like they were able to flesh out his character a lot like he went from just this crazy like asshole dude that you kind of knew was good for a little bit but he's kind of an asshole and then you learn like his backstory and it like slowly starts to like okay i kind of get this character and i like that he's not a spider-man character that people know yeah like it's something very different it's not just here's green goblin again which i think would have hurt for a first game Mm -hmm. um but I liked him. I liked him as a villain for the most part. I think the connections between him, Osborn, and uh, Doc, Ock, Doc Ock. Yeah. yeah. I think that really helps his character and like made me actually, I don't know about like care for him, but made me care for the story more. Because mm-hmm. it wasn't just like, here's this rando villain that starts <laughs> starting to attack New York. It was yeah. much more personal than I was expecting, I guess. Yeah. Which yeah. helped. Yeah, I agree with that a lot. I think his presence throughout the game and his connections again to the other characters. I again, I wouldn't really, I didn't really think that he was that interesting. But I mean, I liked him for what he was. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, it's more like, yeah, I guess it's it's like the story around him that interested me more yeah. probably than him himself. But it was just you know, and the the normal Spider Man thing of like you're living your Peter life. And you're having to act like all everything's good with this guy because Aunt May is right there, but they both know. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, I, I, I like that stuff. I, yeah. I still like the the Peter story and Spider-Man mm-hmm. story and how they kind of are in conflict with each other. Mm-hmm. And then Aunt May being like, yeah, straight up knew anyway. Like, I knew this whole time. <laughs> Doc Ock also being like, I knew. Oh, I think I'm uh, dumb. Yeah, before we before we get out of here, whatever. I don't know how much more we're gonna talk, but we do have to talk about like the ending. I think just the mm-hmm. entire like Doc Ock encounter yeah. at the end because i think that was the strongest part of the game for sure for me yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I again it was just kind of like doc ock's character going through this whole thing i think he was set up really well and i was surprised when he said like when he was like you knew or what? like when he, he revealed that he knew i was like i felt betrayed <laughs> i was like sitting here playing this i was like what the hell dude <laughs> i'm not the most surprised because i think you said you had the same reaction when he first like saw peter work on the suit He's like oh you used to make a suit cool like well, come on you're not that stupid yeah my I, I know we gotta just spend our disbelief somewhat with this stuff but <laughs> well, we made it better in hindsight we like yeah. me and my sister both said like yeah when that happened he was just like yeah you see you must just be like his worker boy or something it's like okay yeah like you the, the, i don't i think you would be smart enough to figure this out but then later it's like oh he was smart enough to figure that out and yeah. he just lied about it and I, yeah i think that's what makes it even way more sadder is that he was like just being mr nice guy it was like yeah. oh, okay i won't yeah. let you know that i know and then yeah. it yeah. Because you're doing good. Yeah, so. Yeah, and how you early that happened. There was, like, so much happened while he still knew. <laughs> it's, it's, it was it was brutal. Like, that was really good. The voice actor, like, both of the, them. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Fight outside the, the building. Yeah. Well, before we get to the fight outside the building, how about the, like, six, or the five mini-bosses, I guess? Oh, yeah. And I guess the, like, Sinister Six thing, too. Yeah, whatever. exactly. Like, yeah. I yeah. like when, you know, you're going around the city, how you fought the, um... The Sinister Six were part of them in pairs. I agree. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I thought it was going to... If they were all separate, I thought it was going to take way too long. And mm-hmm. I was going to get tired. 
I, yeah, I was a little worried it was going to be like, now you're in the Scorpion part of the game. Now you're in <laughs> yeah. the Electro and part it was of the a, game. It's I mean, like, I oh, was, God. <laughs> I was already s- several hours into the game, and I was like, oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a while. I was playing the game. I was like, so when is the Rikers Island thing going to happen? Yeah, I was yeah, like, I know yeah. it's coming, but when is it? I also appreciate how you know Spider-Man has beat these guys before, but he's never really necessarily fought them together. Mm-hmm. And he kind of uses their weaknesses and or their incompetence to play off of each other and beat them together. Yeah, and especially with a uh, Rhino and a uh, Scorpion. Scorpion, that was really funny. <laughs> um, the yeah, Rhino like made me laugh so many times. It was like this <laughs> chase of goose. <laughs> uh, and also, like, what did you think of the Scorpion kind of level where it gets poisoned? <laughs> I was just going to in the Scarecrow yeah, level. That was <laughs> yeah. by far my least favorite part of the game. Really, I like that a lot. I just like the kind of introspection, the kind of weird. Uh, dialogue, mm-hmm. gameplay, yeah, it wasn't that great, but I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think maybe it went on a little bit too long, but I, I, I thought it was like neat. It was yeah. very much like, oh, okay, this is what we're doing, sure. doing, and then like the punchline at the end with yeah, <laughs> yeah. being like in his underwear. Like I thought, I thought it was cute. I mean, it was mm-hmm. good, but it was it was clearly uh, their take on a scarecrow mission, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah, I guess, I guess making those. Uh, like you said, those comparisons are going to be made. I hadn't even thought about that, but yeah. That's immediately what I thought about. Yeah, but I haven't played the Arkham games, so. Yeah, I, I don't played really a little bit of them. Yeah. I played some of them, but didn't care for them all that much, so don't remember them a whole lot. You didn't lot. care for the Arkham games. I didn't know that. Not really. Huh. I'm a weird man. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah, but I thought all the all those guys, all those bosses were in there just enough. That was one of my fears going into this game, was that it was going to be slightly a Spider-Man 3 situation where it's like, there's just too many villains, too many villains going all over the place. Yeah, but, I, I still think they could have spread it apart more because mm-hmm. there was like Shocker in the beginning and then it was a long span of time with no one like that <laughs> to really yeah. fight. Um, but I mean, it made that last part really exciting, the last it, act. It made so, Yeah, it made that that uh, prison escape like these are yeah. a lot of dudes yeah, like, coming yeah. out of here he was yeah. like freaking out I think that was my favorite part was Spider-Man was like oh gosh oh, no. <laughs> what oh, do I no. do not all of you yeah. <laughs> I, I actually forgot Shocker was in the game yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. like, oh, yeah. exactly it was like two hours in and Kingpin I guess but oh, yeah 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 but he kind of like taunts you throughout the whole game and yeah. Kingpin's kind of like has this like Kind of like broad view presence over it all because it was you lock him up and it's like okay well now all of the other gangs are coming out because they're I not did afraid like that of him. I was like okay mm-hmm. so that like I like, like at least con- con- yeah, yeah context of why all this crime is suddenly going on yeah and it makes it like you know it's not as cut and dry as you you lock up the gang boss and everything's good it's also like yeah. you know I think it's just like now his character makes a lot more sense like the kingpin because it's like why is he still allowed in new york at all and it's like oh because he keeps all this crime at bay even yeah. though he's doing all these terrible things right it's just corruption to yeah the top and everything it makes me curious what they're going to do with all these villains kingpin mr negative the rest of Sinister six what they're going to do with them in future games they do anything yeah because they definitely they use them all in this game and that makes you think like oh well, they need to go other directions but they also were used sparingly enough where i feel like a lot of these could make appearances in other ways yeah. in future games too and they all like I feel like they do a good job of a lot of them. Like, he refers to them as their, like, real name and, like, kind of talks about some of their backstory. And even, like, Shocker, you know, he's just like, you're you're not, you don't want to do this. And he's like, I have to, because, you know, like, there there's some pathos or whatever to, like, all these, you yeah. know, these, even these villains that I feel like in future games could come out, like, where it's like some of them maybe are fighting with you at some point because they're like, I can't do this anymore or something. As long as they're not always, like, Oh, we have to work with this main villain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. So they could set up some cool, like, switches. Mm-hmm. Switcheroos there and stuff. Um, it's not too much more. I mean... We can, I, we can talk about the last battle if you wanted to. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we want to... Norman Oswald. This, I remember. We haven't talked about Silver Sable at all. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. What a weird character. She yeah. was forgettable to me. Yeah. She was She was. I felt like part of her was me. setting up for future things. Obviously not using the whole stable game, but with just her in general. Uh, and then her switch to being on your side <laughs> yeah. was, like, not yeah. earned at all. Like, we, uh, she was just like, well, I, I, I thought about what you said, and you're right, and we're friends now. I'm like, what? <laughs> I, I'm almost certain that they were, like, trying to introduce this new 
enemy type, this new force into the game, and they were just like, oh, wait, there's someone in Spider-Man lore that could fit and, like, work them in, and they just, like, dropped her in. Because she did not have that much of an impact. Mm -hmm. It was just like, here's these new people to fight. They kind of gave her this presence, like, I should care more. Like, she should be this more, like, all-present, like, menacing force or something, but it was just kind of like... You just seem like a generic soldier lady who's yeah, commanding like, a bunch like of other soldier dudes. Tough Eastern European lady. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to her character, but maybe that would get better in the future. But there's other ones like I think subtly at first I didn't know how much I was gonna like like Yuri, the police chief or whatever, but by the end like I really like their relationship. I yeah. like their like little cool. back and forths were like pretty cool. Spider Cop. Spider Cop. <laughs> <laughs> Just how done she is with like Spider Man's <laughs> <Nope. against. laughs> She must have accidentally hung up or what? It's because she's from Queens, man. <laughs> she's not, not 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 having it. Not having any of it. Yeah, I mean, like, I think combat wise, I'm pretty much talked about anything. I, I wanted to think. I just, I it makes me like honestly, I'm very excited for Spider Man Two because I think it's gonna be like. I don't mean this com- This comparison is not apt at all because this game is really, 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 really good. But I feel like it could be like an Assassin's Creed to Assassin's Creed 2 scenario where it's like they got the framework. This was the first Spider-Man game they made. It's very different than anything Insomniac's made. Mm-hmm. I mean, Sunset Overdrive to a point, but this is obviously still pretty different. So I feel like they have an awesome groundwork. And like in the next game, if they refine the combat more, maybe add some more like abilities that or a little more unique to me or something like yeah. i could feel was it getting a lot better was it like yeah was it the upgrade tree that you weren't too keen on or was it like the cinematic aspect of uh, the combat it was kind of both i mean the uh, the ability tree was just part of it it was just like the first little bit of doing the abilities was cool but then after a while like i got things where it's like i'm never gonna use this or like you know it was just like upgrading things because i had points not because i there was nothing i was like i'm eyeing this it was okay. just kind of like eh, it's, it's whatever and you upgraded it so fast that there wasn't a whole lot of choice involved. It was just, I felt like I was just like zooming through them. But, and I think the, the quick time thing was not a problem for me. I don't think that was like nearly as prevalent as the trailers made it seem. Mm, no, they just showed the pieces where they were there. Yeah, <laughs> for the yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do think just, I mean, it was just the, it was like very beat them up, but there wasn't like enough going on there. Yeah. It just got repetitive to me or got kind of like, you know, it was just like launch this guy in the air, kick him or whatever, go down, like swing this guy. I just felt like I was doing the same things over and over again. I was just kind of wanting to get on with it. Yeah. I wish like the kind of like meat and potato, like punching and kicking had more variety, more combo, more kind of strategy to it Mm -hmm. instead of just mash square and then hit triangle. And then do that again. I gotcha. No. I guess I was just taking... I, I just wanted to make it, like, as Spider-Man as possible. So I was mm-hmm. just trying to do every move possible and, like, webbing them to the, <laughs> uh, right. to the ground and stuff. So I guess I intentionally tried to vary it a lot more uh, than needed to be. Because I think Colin, Colin Moriarty said it, like, they give you all these abilities that are actually pretty cool if you can use them correctly, but you only need to use, like, three. And well, that, that can be That's a the problem with a lot yeah. of these games, and, and that's what I'm going to make the comparison again, but talk, talking about, like, God of War, that was where, like, I felt playing that game, there was a lot of times where it was like, oh, like, I need to use these new abilities because, like, it makes it this a lot better, it makes this a lot easier, mm-hmm. these, like, enemies call for it, just the game is changing and doing that, with, like... When you if you have a game and you like do all these cool abilities, but the easiest and most efficient option or is still to just do your basic abilities. Most people you're gonna default to just yeah. doing your basic basic abilities, and I'm usually of the stance that it's like not my job mm-hmm. to put to like make these abilities relevant. Your game design should make these abilities relevant. If that makes sense. Yeah. 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 All right. As far as super moves goes. Do we need anything other than Web Blossom? I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't mind, like, the focus meter thing and the finishing moves and all that. It was just... That took me a long time to figure out. Yeah. Like, longer right. than it should have. <laughs> I was like, what is this? How do you use no, it? I, I I, that was that. another thing. It was like, I went to a few other suits' powers or whatever, and I was like, none of these are as good as the yeah. one that just gives me focus. And it was like, there are so many suit powers in here, and I'm just like, I, I don't care. And this one is the best one. It was like... <laughs> Web Blossom and uh, the what is the one with the Stark suit? It's like Spider Bot or something. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. that one's really good. But those are the only two I use. Yeah, 
yeah. just a lot of kind of like stuff in there that's just not necessary and you're gonna i did enjoy like the web combat though i will, I will say that like i liked the environmental kind of context yeah. to it like ripping off doors kind of like kicking people and webbing them to the wall or to the ground i, I thought that was really well done it's just the yep. punching and kicking kind of yeah. part could have done it it's cinematic more. in a good way but yeah and like yeah like i say i think that's my favorite part of the game is the uh, context of it all, I guess. Out every fight, you can web them to the building, to the side of the building. If they're on the ground, you can web them to the ground. Uh, yeah, you can run along alongside the building and like swing over so that you're running on the other side. I think it just did a really good job of adapting to wherever you're at in the city, whether it's combat or uh, traversal. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely agree with you with like swinging and stuff. I'm like, they just make it easy to move in a like good way. Like, it just, you know, like, I, I think I remember in old Spider-Man games where you just hit a building and it's like, all right, we're well, time to climb up the building. I like in this, and they're yeah. like, we're just going to let you go. It's like, if you hit a building, he's just going to sprint up that thing and keep going. And it just, it's just this movement and this momentum that you have. And especially, it's like a small thing, but like, I absolutely loved you standing on the building. You jump up, do the web, and that music just yeah, swells. Like, so right good. as you're like swinging, it's just like, whoo. It's like it's so so good. Uh, I kind of like how you can't die, like falling. You know? Yeah, I think that helps a lot. No, because it's just it's just fun to do that. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to get into the final fight? We were about to talk. Uh, yeah, let's let's try to let's wrap up with that, and then the post credits zingers, whatever that we mm -hmm. we definitely need oh, to yeah. talk about. Um, yeah, I mean, we already kind of talked about it. I, I think just the, I mean, the whole story of this from start to end was really, really strong. I feel like, like, just the pacing and just the different acts. It was like watching an awesome Spider-Man movie in a lot of ways. Um, and I, I just think that ending was insanely strong with mm -hmm. Doc Ock's character. I like Doc Ock versus Norman Osborn, and I kind of yeah. like... You, you, the whole game, you're like, so is Osborn gonna start to become like Green Goblin esque yeah. Yeah. in this thing? It's like, no, he actually, he just has like, in, but he has, I mean, like, he's not directly involved in that way, but he still has an overwhelming presence in the plot because he's just involved with everything. And I like that. And just Doc Ock as a character was just like so strong to me. Mm -hmm. So good. And that, that final fight was just like, really, really mm -hmm. brutal and awesome. Yeah, especially the part where you're on the side of the building and you're just kind of like dodging and punching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like really, and they're just talking back and forth. I really, very emotional. Yes. And and when he leaves them there, and yeah. he's just like calling back to him. It's like, geez, rough stuff, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> rough stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course, Peter and MJ get like makeup or whatever, finally kiss. Wait, like, Stan Lee's in this game. <laughs> Stan Lee, <yeah. laughs> uh, I How strange was that? I was like, oh my gosh, they got Stan Man, his Lee. face looks so much better than everyone else's. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's how you know it's legit. Yeah. This, is like, a legit this is a legit Marvel approved property. Yeah. Stan Lee's in it. <laughs> I was playing this also with my girlfriend, and I had to explain to her who that was. Yeah. Uh, I, was yeah. like, I was like, Stan Lee. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, that's <laughs> wild. Like, does that mean this is Crystal Dynamics Avengers game? I'm going to have him. I, I assume probably so. Like, I think yeah. he's just like, he makes cameo. If they ever game. announce it. They've announced it. <laughs> if it ever comes <laughs> out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty insane. <laughs> Well, do y'all have um, any last things before we get into the post credit stuff? There's definitely things we've missed. Yeah, I mean, just real quick about the world. Um, you know, I went to New York City recently. Mm, yeah. Uh, and so it was really cool to kind of explore and try and find landmarks uh, that I visited. Uh, and some of them were similar but different. Did you ever try to find the charging bull statue over yeah. on Wall Street? Yeah, and it's not the bull. It's actually a giant bulldog. It's... Uh... Uh, it's, uh, he's from the Inhuman series. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a Marvel okay. character. It's just okay. a dog. <laughs> okay. No, if they weren't allowed to do it or something. No, yeah. No. And so there's like some kind of cheeky, you know, changes to the world, but still like it kind of makes sense and very accurate to the city as well. Yeah. And that's what like, um, my, uh, brother-in-law has, he grew up in New Jersey and he spent a lot of time in New York and like I was on top of a tall building and he was like, Oh crap, I recognize all this. He's like, yeah, I stayed in the hotel like right over there. He's like, I did this right over there. It's like, it's really cool. It's mm -hmm. really, and obviously like there's some things different, but for the most part, it's pretty, 
mm-hmm. faithful and big. Just that the world is huge and you never want to fast travel because I, I never fast travel. I never took the subway once. Yeah. Really? You didn't? Why? I mean, gotta get the plat. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pass out for the trophy. There's the Wall Street uh, Okay. Board. Yeah. They should put the little girl that they put in front of the bull. Just put like something in front of it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. It was just, game's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Game is very, very beautiful. All right. Let's get into this post-credit stuff. Um, so the, like, I like the subversion cause it came up and I was saying the whole time we were watching the credits, I was like, okay, so it's going to be Norman. He's going to walk in there, see the green goblin suit, mm-hmm. boom, whatever. And like, it started up, it was Norman. It's like, yep. He starts walking there. Machine starts going. Glows green. I'm like, yep. This is what this is. It. This is what this is. And it <laughs> turns over. I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> but I like that reveal. Kind of does both. Like it's obvious we're gonna get Green Goblin, but then it's like that was one of those where it's like this has been a decently by the book Spider-Man story, but it's like no, Harry Osborn is Venom basically. Mm. And it's like that's cool. It's a cool like very different take. And you hear about how like Harry's sick throughout the whole story or whatever and mm-hmm. he's been sent away and everything but you don't quite know what's going on and I think that was a cool review I think that was a really good storyline actually that we didn't really talk about very subtle yeah. yeah yeah very subtle yeah well done like it wasn't until Mary Jane sneaking around where it becomes apparent that he's yeah. been sick or whatever and if you even like I'm sure y'all probably know it's just because you've like done all of them but in the in some of the science things or whatever he like coughs every now and then oh, like yeah. he'll be in the middle yeah. of like describing so peter why don't you do this or <clears throat> or whatever like he's obviously oh, like sick. Retching, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you probably, you probably wouldn't have really caught it or wouldn't have really known because it's subtle enough unless man isn't here you're lucky that peter's spider-man otherwise we'll be able to do all that stuff <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah new york would just be an environmental catastrophe also i love that you just go in there and it's like yeah new york's polluted suddenly there's like all these gas clouds like where the hell was all this before <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah that was that was weird i mean that's really cool like i i feel like i was worrying i was like how are they gonna do venom i just like and you know it's coming yeah. in some way it's like, how are they going to do it? Because it's easy to do it, bad, or whatever. And this is like, automatically kind of makes it very interesting to me. Mm-hmm. And like, puts it on a very interesting character. It's a good way of getting past the uh, symbiote from space thing that yeah. you would have to go through. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so. even like, you can make, um, if Norman comes Green Goblin more interesting, it's like, his motivation would be a lot more interesting. You could potentially relate with it, depending mm-hmm. how it goes. I mean, yeah, if he's trying to change. save his son's life yeah. or something. Like, yeah, yeah, Norman definitely became more relatable, I guess, as the story mm-hmm. went on, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was another. I like that. That was kind of a more subtle storyline, too, with like them using Devil's Breath as mm-hmm. a cure. Right. You know, when it's all, like they're obviously doing things in a very bad, corrupt way, but like d- it doesn't necessarily have horrible intentions. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With him and Doc Ock, I think it's interesting with mm-hmm. both of them. Mm-hmm. And it's going to make, like, Spider-Man 2 is going to be a good game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced. I'm pretty Marvel's confident. Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Marvel's yeah. Spider-Man You notice yeah. I said it at the beginning. I, I did. did not I, say I gonna, Spider-Man. I was going to comment on it. Uh, <laughs> I wonder what the uh, sales it has they're going to give Insomniac a bigger budget. I would have to imagine that they can do what they want with how it's sold. I mean, it, it was like the best selling, um, best first month for a PlayStation exclusive of all time. Seventh best for a PlayStation game ever. So that just Seven. means there's basically some Call of Duties and Fifas that were better, Dang. and that's it. Like, yeah, geez. it's absurd how much that game sold. It's ridiculous. Well, do we have any more parting thoughts? This is a good game. Yeah, I'm I glad we can finally all like. All be here to talk about it again. Yeah, I wonder how they're going to do the world for the next game. Is it going to be just Manhattan again? Are they going to include extra boroughs? Yeah. yeah. It's Only just... Queens. Yeah. <laughs> Only Staten Island. <laughs> uh, or maybe they could just do Manhattan, but obviously it's probably going to be like a next-gen game. So it yeah. might be like bigger, more detailed. Yeah, yeah. i got to imagine it'll be a while since it's going to be on the next-gen hardware, so... That's the trouble with it, with like a lot of open world games and stuff. You can kind of move to a new location right. and stuff. But Spider Man, it's like it wouldn't wouldn't really make sense if it wasn't on yeah. Manhattan. At least like if at least Manhattan has to at least be there. Yeah. You can expand it maybe to other things. But I'm actually even trying to think of an open world game that has been set in the same spot for the sequel. 
It doesn't it really doesn't happen. happen. Yeah. It doesn't really happen. <laughs> oh, well, Yakuza kind of. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, those are a lot more, like, not in a bad way, yeah. but, like, smaller upgrades anyway. You know, like, yeah, they're yeah. kind of, like, said, like, telling similar stories. Apparently, Far Cry Primal, to, like, had the exact same map as uh, Far Cry 4. Uh, 4. They just, like, literally re- they wow. copied it and made it prehistoric. Wow. If you look at the map, it's, like, the exact same hmm. thing. <laughs> but... Uh, I don't know, yeah, and that that could be one of those things that makes it feel less new or like feel a little bit of a bummer because you've already seen all this before. Mm-hmm. But they already showed just in this game alone, they took New York and then completely changed it for one half of the game. So yeah. it's like, and you don't really need a new environment. I mean, if you have new gameplay elements, everything totally. else is cool enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and you could you could always maybe like there's a mission or two somewhere else you know yeah that he gets taken off somewhere. I mean all they really need to do for us is, is, is be a PS5 and be like show the parents like, how much pretty it is yeah <laughs> true I mean they don't have to do much to, yeah. for people to go buy another Spider-Man game especially after this people are in <laughs> yeah very very in and I'm also I guess do y'all think that this is gonna kind of be a launch point for Marvel games just in general the fact that the, so. They they finally gave this to like a like real good studio and like put money behind it. It's not just some cash in like tie in thing or whatever. I could see this being like kind of for the buzzword thing of or whatever the Iron Man ver- mm-hmm. like the you know of this you know how like what Iron Man did. For yeah, films the only for thing that. the only thing is is you know that Avengers game Square Enix is making that's like a multi platform, so it'd be kind of weird that they're in the same universe. Mm-hmm. Only one system has access to the starting point. I don't expect that to be in the same universe, but I could potentially see future like Sony games being in the same universe, or potentially Insomniac making more things. I mean, I don't think it it's necessarily definitely going to happen, but I think it's a possibility. Yeah, I think it's a good starting point for a trend. Yeah, I mean, regardless, like, Marvel's like, going to want money, and yeah. this obviously <laughs> proved that it can make money. So. Just got to figure out what Rock said he's working and, on. And Insomniac said that they had, they could have picked any Marvel property they wanted to. They pretty much straight up said that they, they were given the option to do whatever. And they Which doesn't Spider-Man. actually make sense to me. Because I thought the whole reason they were able to get Spider-Man was because Sony owns the IP to some extent. No, no well, this is they part, only own the movie rights. Just the movie rights? Yeah, they don't own huh. any of the other things as far as I know. Yeah. yeah. I just figured that was part of the deal since it was exclusive. That's weird. No, that's what people, a lot of people assume, but no, I mean, as Sonic said multiple times, no, we can make any Marvel IP we want if we were like, Spider-Man. Huh. Yeah, I mean, this is like the real deal. It's partnered with, like, Marvel games, and, like, the Marvel film guys have, like, right. commented on those and stuff, and, like, yeah. Yeah, so. I think it's more of, maybe more of a coincidence that Sony mm-hmm. is, right. has the movie rights and is, is exclusive, because a lot of the, the, you know, they've had the movie rights for years, and then there have been multiple Spider-Man games that were multi-platform. Yeah, that's true. All right, cool. Well, I think that's it. So this has been a lot of fun. I hope that we're ever able to all be on the same schedule. Play Red Dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. both you of you play Red Dead. Uh, I gotta wait because yeah. it's, it's big game, and same. I don't want to delete games off of my PS4. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a it's a good one so far. It's a, yeah, it's a super good one. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Uh, you can check out me and Jeff did a Super Smash Bros. Uh, direct reaction stream earlier today that you can find on youtube yep got them time codes in there yeah i don't really have too much else to pump right now that's it go watch that (laughs) all right thank you guys so much bye bye